Okay, this is uh, some video I shot when I picked up my Winnebago Revel from the dealership in Forest City, Iowa. I'm glad I did this because I forgot a lot of the stuff that this gentleman covered. It's an excellent review of the technology and some of the features of the Winnebago Revel. So, hope you enjoy. This is your 12-volt system. So, I like to break it down as this is your 12-volt system. This is your 110 system. Okay. So, this turns the actual batteries on. Okay. Okay. So right now these lights are solid, which means they're not charging. It's just on. Drawing. Okay. Earlier it was actually blinking when I had it plugged in. Okay. Okay. So I can whip out my phone here, and there's an app that we'll put on your phone. You hit discover. Okay, so now I'm picking up that one too. <laughs> okay. So yours are the top two. Okay. Okay. That little number right there, um, if I get closer to your batteries, yeah. that number will go down. It's like a proximity. Oh, a range thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you want to find the, it's going to be the Close. top two. Okay. So you click on it. So right now, your batteries, the one anyway, yeah. is sitting at 88%. <clears throat> it is, we're actually drawing eight amps off of it okay. because it's green, or it's red. Earlier, when I had it plugged in, it was a green 36 amps because it was taken yeah. in power. Yeah. And then you can see that the battery is 62 degrees. Great. So the temperature of the battery is important because they do, lithium doesn't charge south of 40 degrees. Okay. That's good Okay, to know. so yeah. you have your heating system in here. Yep. And then plus, when we get back there, I'll show you there's heating blankets on the, the batteries, batteries themselves. Okay. So... So that's one of your batteries, and then here's your other one at 87%, 9 yep. amps. So they're they're going to be the same, Yeah. but I've seen them 5% five, 5 off. You know, it's just how they draw off of them. Sure. So. Cool. Okay. So what this does is you press that button right there, and then now, is it going to shut off? Nope, i got to kill one more button. Okay. Which you'll never have to do again. <laughs> this one okay so this right here is the actual inverter okay so with that button being off now it allows Control you to from use that, that one yeah okay so this one here is actually like the the secondary yeah. one. you know that's the primary one they put this one in so what i did now is i killed your 110 system okay so the air conditioner won't work and none of the 110 outlets will work how about the fridge that's fridge that, is 12 volt okay that's tied off so that works all the time okay as long as this is on yep that works gotcha and you can tell your hydronic system is still on yeah because it's 12 volt yep so so yeah now i can go and turn Fire it back that on. on so that's powered up the 110 mm -hmm. so now your outlets will work okay and AC. we could turn the ac on. okay that's the only thing that runs off of that okay and then it's a 2000 watt inverter gotcha so we never have to do that one switch no you just okay no, no. I sh with that one being off then you can control it with this one okay now the solar disconnect i mean what do you the only time you ever shut this one off is if you shut this off so let's say you're going to put it in storage for two months and not use it yeah you know, and it's not plugged in then i would shut that off and shut that okay off. So we're going to be using it pretty much every weekend, maybe once or twice during the week, and then on trips, we just leave the solar on. Yeah, and then and, leave this on. And I, that'll power, yeah. will it keep the warmers on the battery going at that point? Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. Can okay. you have it plugged in, too? Yeah, we could, I mean, we'll have to get the adapter for the, like, it's just a residential power. Right. right? So, what is that, a 20 or 15? Yeah, 20 amp. amp or something? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So that's so, what I would do. Plug it in and leave the solar on? Leave the solar on and leave this on. So you never, unless I turn this off, I never turn off right. the solar. Okay, that's, yep. that's pretty simple. This one here, I would just shut off when you're, like when you're sitting at home. Yeah. You know, not using it, I would just shut it off because, unless you're going to run the AC. Okay. And but. this little thing saying solar off and battery's off, this is the battery. Yep. So, yeah. so when this is off, If that's not off. lit, that needs to be turned off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can that damage the... the no, System it's just it? a, it's actually a power draw though if you leave that on. Okay, okay. So, and this thing here, this, that thing actually explains all of that stuff. Perfect. Yeah. So, that's the biggest thing. When you turn this on, you turn that on. This is up to you if you're going to use 110 or not. And while we're know. driving, these are on. That's yep. no problem. Just leave them on. Okay, good. So then your, that second alternator yeah. will charge the batteries yep. along with the solar. Okay. So the solar is more of a trickle charge. Yeah, yeah. It's you know. near a campsite or. So that's what that kind of does. Okay. So those stay on all the time for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, now, if I'm plugged into shore power, 
Leave them on. Leave yep. that on. Okay. Yep. We only turn them off if we're not going to Storage. If you're not going to use it. Because yeah. intuitively, I'm just thinking, well, if I'm plugged into short power, that you don't need those on. Technically, you don't. Okay. But it's just a good idea just to leave them on. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Especially with the solar one, because you want you want that on because you might as well bring in if you can. Yeah, it's passive. Uh, okay. Save on your electric bill. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is diesel or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this one here is your Zamp solar charger controller, okay? So what this thing does is it tells you, for one, where your batteries are at voltage-wise, yep. but we don't really care because we're going to go off the percentage. Okay. W lithium batteries just, they go, 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 and then they just tank. Dump. You yeah. know? So we don't care about voltage. We just go by the percent. So this thing is kind of neat. If I press this button, now it tells me how many amps that I'm currently bringing in. From, yeah. There's no sun and we're in the building. Yeah. So. The most that you're going to bring in is probably 10 to 12. It's it's roughly 5.5 to 6 amps per, per 100 watt of solar. Okay. And you have 200 watt panels okay. up on the roof. So I've seen 12. You know, that's the most I've ever okay. seen. Um, so where I'm going with that is if it's a beautiful sunny day, and like now your batteries could actually use a charge, yeah. and it's like noon where the sun's straight Dead up over, in the yeah. sky... You should be at least eight or above. Okay. If you're not, they're dirty. Okay. So then you crawl up there and clean them with soap and water yeah. or Windex or sure. something. But that's kind of the big telltale sign that they're dirty. You your know? amps. Yeah. The one thing you want to check, though, is make sure that your batteries actually need a charge. Because sure. if it's a beautiful sunny day like that and, and your batteries are at 95 and above. It automatically steps it, down. It steps down. Okay. Because it doesn't need a charge. Sure. Sure. So, do you play around with that much at all, other than just I to leave it on this usually just to see your amps? Yeah. Okay. And then the next time you press the button, it tells you how many amp, amp hours. hours that you've brought in today. Okay. So every night, um, this thing just kind of goes away. Okay. Like yesterday morning, I did one of these, and it was actually still dark out when finishing brought it from their bay into here. So this thing was still flashing because it never saw sun. Oh, really? Okay. So it's it, 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 twenty four hour cycle. It resets. Yep. Okay. It just resets itself every night. So what you'll see is this thing will start flashing, meaning I got a kind of a half ass power. Yeah. I don't have much, and then all of a sudden it'll just go out. Okay. And then in the morning it'll do the same thing. It'll start flashing, and then it'll just stay on. Okay. So. And you leave this on all the time as long as your yep. these two are on. Mm -hmm. Now, if I was going long term storage, kill this, kill this. Do I shut that power that down? This shuts that. Oh, okay, off. it's isolated yep. by that circuit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then the next time you push it, you just go right back to the voltage. Okay. This button here you'll never touch because it's already on lithium. Okay. So all that does is changes your battery type. Okay. And if I accidentally did that, would it? What happens? You have to you have to push and hold it. Okay. Well, we won't do that. <laughs> like this, and now everything flashes. It's so then I could page through. I could keep hitting it, okay. and it would go through all the different battery types. And then you can just hit that We're top button. Yep. Yeah. It's showing yep. lithium. Cool. All right, so you don't so, play around with that too much. It's just more of a gauge to give you an yeah, idea if your panels are clean. It's just a visual thing. And, okay. Mm -hmm. That's why I like to leave it on that one so you can kind of see so, if they're clean or yeah. not. Cool. So this one right here shows your battery level. So okay. here again, we, for one, we don't do anything with the, the bar graph. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. You just go strictly off of the volts. And that is the lithium batteries, right? This one is. Yeah. The house batteries yep. is that one. And then the, the chassis, chassis is the starting battery. Okay. So, and is, is, that, is that tied in other than the fridge? No. It's not even tied to the fridge? This, no. Nothing back here is tied into that. Okay. So, even if you're camping and you completely kill these batteries. Yeah. I can still fire it still up. Still fire it up. Okay. Without a problem. Okay. Yep. You yeah. mentioned the, the compressor on this was 12 volt. But it's still the 12 volt off House. the lift. Okay. Yep. Thanks. I misunderstood. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is all. Everything back here is isolated. Yeah, pretty much from, from here back okay. is all house good. batteries. Good. Yep. All these USBs and 12 volts and everything yeah. are all house. Tied off of that. Okay. Yep. Great. Now, if you got your phone up there. That's off 12 that's volts. That's off chassis. The okay. chassis. Yep. Which, if I remember right, all of those 12 volt ones shut off when you hit the ignition off. They're all tied okay. to the key. Okay. Yep. This one here is tank level. So you can see. You Fresh is full, yep. gray is empty. Perfect. They go by thirds. Okay. So one will go up, one will go down. Water pump. So, so now it. the water pump is on. There's two switches. There's one here, and then there's one back there by that water feature. Okay, so if you're out there washing a bike yeah, off or showering. you can turn it on. Now, I've been told from the forums, you don't use the water pump unless you're actually going to be washed. You don't want to leave it on just 
Right. Is that right? Like, if you're gone, say you're out biking or hiking or something, yeah. I would shut it off because all of your water lines are inside. Yeah. So if you have a leak, yeah. it's in here. Yeah. You're going to put 20 gallons of water possibly inside That's here. That's what, yeah, somebody <laughs> yeah. just posted. So Yeah, it's not good. So, I mean, you would leave it on within, re- like, if we're going to be active here making dinner, just, mm-hmm. you know, for a couple hours, just leave it on yeah. that period. I would leave it on whenever you're in here. Really? Myself. And okay. And here's my reason is... So the pump is actually back there, yeah. and when you turn the faucet on, yeah, is it gonna? You can hear it. It's a lot quieter than I expected. Yeah, yeah I can hear it. Yeah, so, so you'll know if you're. Yeah, and my reason is, I guess, is if that thing is, if the switch is on, and nobody's using water, and you hear that thing yeah. turn on, something's wrong. Yeah. Either a faucet is on, or, or you actually have a leak. leak. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I like to leave it on when I'm in it. Makes sense. So. Cool. So everything's powered up. We got the batteries. Everything's mm-hmm. good. Now we're into heat. Heat. Okay. So right now, it is 59 degrees in here. That's coming off of this little guy. Your sensor is just sticking right up under that little guard. Okay. So that's the thermostat. The heat is set at 63. If I wanted to move it around, I can cool. move it around. You just dial it around with your finger. And I am using the diesel burner. Okay. Okay. That's this one. This one here is the electric, electric, okay. which we're not plugged in, so you don't want to use that one. So now, where's, where's the vents? Right here is one. So that's that's where one comes out. That's cool. And then the other one is right here. Okay, so cool. So it just comes and blows straight back. Nice. Okay, cool. So <clears throat> it is still doing the same thing that the other one was with heating up the glycol mixture yeah. and then Circulate running it through. It. So it's like a heat exchange unit. Makes sense. Now, somebody on one of the forums was saying something about the sensor for this is down on the floorboard and it radiates too much heat and it, it, it's somehow throwing off the... You heard anything about that? shouldn't be because that's the sensor. Okay. It's for it, the heat. Okay. So it's... And it'll, I could see, though, where it... It would come up around here and, and get stuck under here, though. I could see yeah. that. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, that's the actual sensor. And the diesel heater, is it located off the frame somewhere? Yep, it's straight down under here. It's got a little exhaust? Yeah, yeah, there's a little little exhaust thing that's tied. It goes right underneath your running board. Well, it's running. I just want to go see, yeah. it, see how yeah, much... Yeah, absolutely. N- So it would, everything would turn right back on again. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I was asking because if the batteries go dead, the fridge will go dead. Yeah. And so you're just saying you can turn, start the vehicle up and it'll turn back on. Again. And so, like, the only time that would ever happen is if we were, like, way out there and we weren't, the solar died, we just depleted everything. That'll mm-hmm. never happen because when Very we're at seldom. home, yeah. when we're at home, just having it plugged into that 20 amp, is that best practice? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. leave that, okay. Mm-hmm. And that'll keep those batteries warm and all yep. that? Cool. Okay. Yep. As long as you got the switch on, yep. which I'll show you and everything. But okay, so back to the heat. So, <clears throat> so that's how you keep the heat going. Okay. Now, if I wanted warm water yeah. at the same time, all I got to do is press that Perfect. one. So now, it's so like in the summertime, when all you want is water, most of the time you would press the water first. Okay. Then what you're going to decide is, all right, do I want, do I want to use the diesel burner, or do I want to use the electric? It's sensitive. Um, that so you just have to make a choice. So once you hit that one, the water part, it just sits there. It's like, okay, now what do you want me to do? Yeah. How do you want me to heat it? And it's it brought up a little thirty minute thing. So I'm assuming when you press that, it'll automatically yeah, shut off after it thirty. Off. So it doesn't just keep mm-hmm. cooking. Okay. So yeah. then now, being that thing is warm, it's been heating the the fir- the heater part up. We can turn this on, and it's not going to take very long, and we'll have warm water. Yeah. It's already yeah. warm. That's impressive. Yeah. So, that's that's awesome. <laughs> and then you see that uh, it's clock. It, so you still have the macerator. So what does that do? That's just that a, is pumping water from the sink over to the okay. gray tank. So it's just not a normal drain system. Right. It actually has to kick it, it out. It can't be gravity because it goes into the floor underneath, and, it the, go, and then it has to go straight across. That makes sense. So what they did is they put a macerator pump. So theoretically. 
you can don't scrape your food off in here, but if a little bit of food goes in, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Okay. It's it's a mini garbage disposal. Okay. Realistically. Yeah, we're probably gonna be real careful about yeah. that. I, that sounds too good to be true. <laughs> I mean, basically, <laughs> if it fits through that hole, it'll, it'll mince it up. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. So like That's... little pieces of corn and you know that no kind of stuff okay. will go right through it. So, but yeah, don't scrape the plate off. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prime rib. Yeah, just yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> um. And so I saw you hit that, and it actually took the electrical. So can you run off the electric, even though we're not tied in? To, yeah, which it just kills stupid. your battery yeah, which really not, fast. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. just want to yeah. make sure. It's possible. But it don't. is possible, but don't do it. Okay. Now, now, this part here is kind of the neat one. Um, here you got um, your brightness. You yep. know how bright you want it. Sleep mode. Cool. Um, and how, like right now, I think it's 90. about 60 seconds Okay. Or whatever. Oh, I see, yeah. Fan is in auto, which means it... It waits. The fan will come on for the furnace part, and then um, once the heat is there, it'll ramp it up a little bit more. And then once it gets the temp or gets okay. closer, you know, to get into that 68, 69 degrees, it'll start Ooh, ramping, it's... ramping itself back down. If you want to put it in manual mode, you can do this, just and then I can set it. that fan wherever I want. Okay, so if you so want a little at, quieter for yeah. a Zoom call or something, yeah. Now yeah. it's at 39 percent, but yet it's still pumping heat out. Yeah, you know. What's the pump override? What's that all about? That one. Pump override. God, I'd have to think about that one. Wouldn't ever press that. No, no. I think that's if you want to actually turn the, the pump part of it on manually. manually okay. Which you wouldn't want There's to do There's no anyway. reason to do that. So right now when this thing goes to sleep, it goes a black screen. Yeah. If you want to have the clock on it, you okay. can set it up. That might be kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, now this one here is kind of neat. So the top one there says air temp so that is the air you know it's yeah. 59 degrees in here um tank temp so the the glycol mixture is at 165 degrees um heater temp is what it is um heater temp that is what it's blowing out is is 165 degree air okay. and then the heat exchange is what that unit actually is okay that type of thing and then the circulating pump which is for the water part yep. is on. It's functioning, yep. The solenoid is on, which makes that part work. And then the fuel pump is on, which means the diesel burner is running. Okay. So. The the consumption of diesel for the um, heater. It's like a quarter of a gallon an hour. Okay, so you'd have to be running heat for four well, days straight yeah. to even consider. The, yeah. Does it have an auto? Quarter like, of a tank. Okay, I was just going to yeah, say. Quarter to three-eighths, they said. It, okay. It, it's right in there. Okay. Yep. So it leaves you with at least a quarter it's of a tank. One out of the forest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So don't be too deep in. <laughs> <clears throat> then these ones are just yeah. You'll never mess with any of these. Okay. So right now it's been on for seven hours so far. Cool. So. And that's it. Cool. So this system here is way easier to understand that's, than the old yeah. one. The old one had switches. Yeah. And you had to this switch had to be on, but don't worry about it and you know it's it, No, it that's pretty dumb. clean. That's pretty so, clean. Yeah, and then if you don't want water. Sure. So what I would do, you know, like <clears throat> say you got the furnace on, you know, and stuff like that, and you're going to bed, I would make sure that you turn the water part off. Yeah. Because otherwise, if the if it needs to heat up the water, it's but the furnace PTs. doesn't need to be on, yeah. it'll turn on. Yeah. You know? And then at night, I'm assuming I would be turning my water pump off anyhow. If I'm sleeping, I don't... A lot of people yeah, do. Yeah, it just seems yeah. like it's unnecessary. So it doesn't that, really need screen, to be on. that water thing is only for hot water. Only for hot water. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll still just have cool water. Mm -hmm. And like right now, you would still have hot water. Yeah. It's still... Because the furnace is on. Oh. But... It just won't, like here, it, it's kind of, it's lukewarm. Yeah. Okay. You know? So. Cool. Okay. And there's an app that can connect to that as well or something, isn't there? Like no. A, oh, there's not an app. No. Okay. The apps are for the air conditioner. That's right. The awning. Yep. And the battery. And the batteries. Gotcha. Those are your three cool. apps. Awesome. They're working on that one. No, but. it's fine. I mean, this thing's so small if you can't get to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one's not quite as... In fact, I don't even know why there's one for the air conditioner, other than if you're sitting here and you want to I was cool it off. Yeah. Because, see, now you'd have to lower the bed. I got you. That's the biggest the problem. That, yeah. Say you got your dirt bike or whatever yeah. in here and you can't get it down, but yeah. yet you want to start cooling it off. That would make sense. How do you get to it? You yeah. unload all your crap to, <laughs> yeah, to they get to it, good. you know? So... 
This one's light switches, so that's for the bar okay. above your head. Cool. High and low. All these lights have a high and a low. Okay. This one's high and low in here, and then you got high and low in the bathroom. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. So the bedroom ones are back around back the there. corner there. Gotcha. And then here's for the bed. Cool. You can sleep on this bed at any height. It does really? not have to be all the way down. That's cool. What a lot of mountain bikers will do is make it so that this is level with the bottom of the window. Yeah. So it's going to be right about there. Okay. And your bike will fit in there and you don't have to Snug. mess with the seat and all that kind of that stuff. Sense. A lot of times you can leave them. And the key has to stay in there all the time, is that right? Yeah, it's got to be in the on position. Okay. It's kind of weird. But it is, yeah. yeah. I've heard of people that have cut the key <laughs> yeah, yeah. right there and just leave the one oh, little stub in. Out. Yeah. Uh, um, and I've heard guys say, you know, occasionally the fuse for that or the breaker will trip. Is that it's pretty It's right common? under here. Okay. And the reason why it trips is because people, people leave all their crap Yeah, on that's it. what I was saying. Yeah, it's yeah. not meant to lift people. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, okay. your, your dog's laying on there. Yeah. yeah that's, and okay. all your bags and all that, you know. I mean, because some people go and throw totes and all that stuff up there. And that's what's doing it. It's not meant to lift Okay, that, no. okay. So it's meant to lift your bedding and that kind of thing. Yeah. But not... Not a human. Not or, a human. Yeah. And, and totes. Five and, days worth of food. Yeah. Cool. But, yeah, I know pe a lot of people will store things up there, lift it up to, until it touches a ceiling, and then you can okay. have the rest of the storage down here. Not going to happen. We're, yeah. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so. Cool. And well, I've heard of people putting a bigger fuse in. Which is not smart. Not smart because then moves. they burn, yeah. burn the motor up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I've heard of that, too. Somebody somebody put on there, yeah, I tried a, new, a bigger fuse, and one guy said, that's not no, a good idea. No, it's engineered for that. Yeah. yeah. And then that's, later on, yeah, he blew the motor. Very nice. Well, uh -huh. this isn't as overwhelming as I thought. I no. mean, if I'm not screwing around, this never really gets turned off. Yeah. If I'm if I'm plugged in, I turn this off. Mm -hmm. oh. No, leave it on all the time. Yeah, Unless time. only time you're going to shut these two that's off right. is if you're storing it for long term. A long time. So I, these are pretty much not really anything I screw with. Yeah. This is just when we are off the when we are actually using the mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so like right now, we're not using the AC yeah. and, and the 110 outlet, so we can shut it off. Okay. So now we're conserving more power. It's it's a parasitic draw, basically, having that on. So this is just going to power the, the, the lights now off of yeah. the batteries. And the plug-ins? Yeah, so right now the plug-ins don't work. Okay. But these do. That's the only thing yeah. right now that's still working. Because they're that 12 the fridge. Volt. Okay, okay, that makes yeah. more sense. Okay. The water pump, the okay. furnace. So everything else, if I tried to fire up the water right now, would not work. Because I'm yeah, not... it'll work. Oh, it, it's 12, 12 volt. volt. Okay. The only thing that operates off of the off the inverter is the 110 outlets and, and the, AC. the air conditioner. Perfect. That's okay. it. So if, now we're back on. Now There's, we're back online. It's strictly on off. I don't have to go through menus no, or screw around. Yeah, just so, on off. So we're, we want cool air if we want to. Okay. Now when you plug in, instead of this middle light being on right now. Yeah the top light will come on meaning it's in float mode so or bypass mode it okay. bypasses the batteries and it because it's taking it from shore power so do i even need to do anything with that mm -hmm. i mean i can just plug in this yeah, button just, theoretically i don't have to screw with unless right. i'm doing a long term just shut down of the yeah. hole yep good to know okay yeah so when you're boondocking and you're not using any of that stuff just shut it off okay that makes sense yeah Okay. I mean, it doesn't use a lot of power, but it's enough. Yeah, if you're going to be two, three days out, yeah. you want to... You know, Just having these every outlets app. readily available, Yeah, that's, that's so, a power draw. Yeah. Okay, so like if we wanted to use a coffee maker, we'd mm -hmm. have to turn Make that Make sure on. that's on. Yep. Yeah. Then you got here, there's one down there, there's one all the way down under the fridge in that step well. Okay. There's one down there, and there's a couple back here. Okay. So... And like when we're driving around this afternoon, <clears throat> excuse me, would you leave it just the way it is right now? Yeah. That's just how, just leave the mm -hmm. inverter on, we're driving, it's charging off passive solar and the generator, yeah. life's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. And then um, would I want to kill this, let's say I'm driving, I'm using the coach, to. we're just up front and we just want to use the coach heat. See, that that kind of depends, what I would, like if it's cold out, yeah. um, like below freezing type of thing, I would leave this on. And okay. what I always tell people is I set this Ten, or set this what's comfortable. So if 68 degrees is comfortable yeah, for you, yeah. you set this at 68 and you set the dash at like 60. Okay. Because you want to keep that glycol mixture warm Yeah. to heat your batteries, batteries yeah, and, yeah. To, and heat the coach. And you also have that gray tank that's sitting outside. That's right. That has a glycol line running right beside it to keep it. 
Which brings the question, you know, we're going to park this outdoors at our house. We're in Tennessee. It's going to get down into the maybe the 20s at some point. And this is a four-season van. Do I plug it in, leave it plugged in, and leave that at, like, 55? 60s as low as you can go. Okay, but, so, yeah, leave it at 60. And this thing will just self Mm-hmm. Preserve all the lines. I don't have to yep. winterize. Right? I don't have to winterize or nothing. And it's designed for that kind of long term use. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then in the summertime, I can just sh- shut that off if I'm not yeah, using just it. Just shut that part off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you just dial, if you dial this all the way down, it'll actually shut off. Okay. And then you, well, then you would hit kill the burner. Just too. shut it off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now, yeah, there you go. The heater fan's going down. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did shut it off. See that thing is sensitive. I didn't think I touched it, but yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Like you understand a little bit? I understand a little bit. Yeah. We'll watch this a couple more times. But yeah. Yeah. That's it's not as over. I mean, it looks overwhelming, but it's like a 747 cockpit. You know, there's 1,400 switches in yeah. there, and you use about 100 of them on a <laughs> exactly. flight. So, yeah. um, this here, it sounds like I'm not going to play with much at all. No. This is on off just if I'm long term going to do something, and these really don't need to worry about. This is my daily, my daily. And then the, my lights. It's weird that they don't label those. Everybody they, complains about that. They do, yeah. I'll probably but just... this is what I always tell people, too. Is your house labeled? <laughs> no. You eventually figure it out, yeah, right? Yeah. You know? No, that's true. That's you true. Know? Cool. I so, get it, though, because, yeah, when you first get into something, it's like, what the hell does that switch do, you know? Yeah. So what's the, the most common F-up that somebody does? You know, you get the phone call two days from now. What's the normal thing that somebody's like, oh, my God, I, I can't figure this out? Um... Honestly, on on the Rebel, there really isn't a okay, lot. Okay. There really isn't a no, lot. No, it sounds like I'm I'm overthinking. That yeah. sounds like I really just need to leave things as they are. And One guy actually just um, left it sit at his house and didn't with everything on. Yeah, with yeah. everything on and didn't deplete didn't it plug it in. Okay. And it killed everything. <laughs> so, um, you know, there is. They say too that lithium batteries should never get completely depleted. Yeah. You can deplete these, okay. and the reason is is that the battery bank has a built-in cushion okay so when your phone says you have 20 percent left yeah. you actually have 30 because okay. they have a built-in 10 percent okay so when it reads zero you're really at 10 percent. so it won't harm the battery harm the battery it actually shuts it down at that point mm-hmm. there is still the reserve so, so it doesn't damage it the... doesn't have to rely on you being smart about it okay it's it's smarter <laughs> that's, that's than you. handy <laughs> yeah. so the dude that parked it and just didn't do anything he left everything on Mm-hmm. And he didn't get enough solar to keep up with right. his heater or whatever was mm-hmm. pushing. Okay. Yeah, and it just kills, kills it. So what would that take? Like a couple days? Depend. I guess it just depends on where your heat's at. A couple days, yeah. yeah, because, yeah. You'd have to have, well, I mean, the AC obviously can kill it in a few yeah. hours, but that's not. Six hours is what we ran the AC. Yeah, I saw that video. Yeah. That's crazy. It was cool. Nuts. Yeah. And that was, that's a good thing, too, you know, because it ran it down. It killed the AC. So when we came back in it, um, we shut the we shut the inverter off, yeah. and we powered the batteries back up, and fired the engine up, and took off, and everything stayed on. Wow, wow. that's impressive! You know, because so it started to charge immediately. Again. Started picking, yeah. So that thing in the up in the upper right for the outlets mm-hmm. and the AC, when we're plugged in to, to shore power, do we have that on? It automatically comes on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. So, so I'll go somewhere. outside and plug it in, and what you'll see is that green light will go from that middle light up to the top. Okay. Right now we're back on shore power. Okay. And then that light here will switch. It figures it out on yeah. its own. And move up to the top one. Takes a little bit. Sure. Well, come on. <laughs> Heard a little fan fire up it. There it goes. There it is. Okay. So cool. now when I hit discover. Now we are at 85% and a positive 36 so she's, amps. She's so it's charged. Shore power, yeah. Cool. And obviously the solar is not going to reflect that. It's those just, started flashing too. And that's not anything to freak out about. Nope, it just means that it, it's charging. Yep, what it means, it's charging. Okay. And so when we go outside in the, in the sun, those will, be char- those will be blinking. That's going to show. I can't remember if they blink because of the solar or not. Solar or not, okay. though. I can't remember. I think they do, but I'm not positive. And. Turn off inverter when not in use. This is the inverter. That's the inverter. And these are tied together. Mm-hmm. And so 
you're saying don't worry about it unless I'm doing long term storage, and that would be power this down, power this down, flip that off. Exactly. Okay. Yep. If, I, if I repeat things enough, I start. To, yeah. Hey, this is good. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So all that makes sense. Yeah. Awesome. Um, now we'll move on to a couple simple things. Your windows. You unlock. You can lock them into that little short spot. Okay. They're still locked, but yet. Got if you turn the fan on, you can actually get some air through them. Nice. And then this one here will just sit pretty much anywhere. Wow. Okay. And then you have your screen. Yeah, both screen. Privacy. Cool. Okay. okay. Now, this one, to get it back down, you can just pull it. Okay. And same with your bedroom one. Okay. The one in the door, you actually have to... Um, that one has spots that it sits. Like indexed it? Yeah. Okay. So I'll bring this up and... Kind of ratchet. It clicks. Okay. So there... Oops. There it is. Okay. And I think there's one more. There it is. Cool. Like a taco truck. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then if you want to bring it down, you just push it up yep. one more. Yep. And just, just push it up. So cool. even if you're at this one, you can just go like oh, okay. that. Cool. And then it goes back down. That one's got... So this one here, you want to be careful um, so that you do not have it open and slam the door shut because now it's it's just sitting it's pivoting on these shocks yeah so then you could damage the door gotcha okay we had a lot of that with the 19s then the 20s they went to the automatic doors yeah well then they had a lot of uh, lots of issues with the automatic doors so they went back to the manual, manual. Ones. yeah i saw that cool so all the four-wheel drive vans have manual doors okay the two-wheel drive ones still, still have, have the automatic one. okay like interesting made it in two yeah no, no, well, not, not rebel, it's not an option, yeah, but thing. like the uh, the two wheel drive bolt, hidden storage. Okay, nice. So, just so you, I mean, yeah. they always try to use everything. You yeah. know, Winnebago's little motto is "When in doubt, cut it out." <laughs> so, if there's a opening, they're gonna use it. Cool. So, kind of like on the floor down there, you know, so that, that yeah, that cubby down there, and then you got under here. Nice. And that's where your table extension is that just Snaps slips in. right in there and then it clips right on that. Okay. And cool. locks it in. And the neat thing about that is it only comes out to here. Okay. So you, you can, can still, still get in okay. and out. Oh, okay. So it doesn't take up the whole thing. That's nice. And then this is your 110 breakers. Okay. And 12 volt fuses. Okay. So breakers are just like the ones in your house. Yep. Um, <clears throat> the fuses, they're just the standard blade Odd fuses. Motors. Yep. And they have little red LED lights that come on when they're blown. Okay. So there's no guessing on which one right. it is. The light comes on. Cool. Um, you have all these RAM mounts. Yeah. All over the place. And we, inside we have like iPad holders and okay. all that kind you of stuff. Okay, might look into that, yeah. The so bathroom. Bathroom, yes. So here is your shower curtain. Nice. There's two snaps in the corner, one in the middle, two over there. Okay. So that's how that holds up. This is get up the wrench for your wheels. Okay. Because you, you got the, the full size spare good back. Ones. Yep. yep. So that is only good for these four. Your spare actually, because you have the normal spare. Yeah. It still uses the one that's up Under front the on the hood. passenger side. Okay. So, and then this is for your shower. It's just a quick coupler, just yep. like an air hose. Snap. Plug it in there. Okay. You can take this same shower head and bring it to the back. Okay. Because you do have the, sh the spray nozzle one, the yeah. blue coily one. Yep. But if you want to actually shower, then you can use okay. this one. And then, oh, fan. While well, I'm up, fan, you push that bar up and then push the little button. That'll be handy. So that turns the fan on. Cool. So you can have that on while you go down the road. A lot of people, I mean, wetsuits. Yeah, to dry put stuff them in off. Here, turn that on, shut the door, and cool. dry them out. Nice. It won't, like rain won't get in here. Um, that is actually located directly underneath a solar panel. Oh, nice. So we'd never get in there. It's out. direct Thanks rain. Except okay. for snow. Okay. We did find that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Winnebago forgot to shut one of these, and I didn't notice it. And we filled about half of this with snow. Oh, we had gosh. like a blizzard, and it blew. Just dry snow that just yeah, fell. Oh, just no. Fell oh, my gosh. One of the technicians brought it in, you know. Yeah. Oh. Uh, to do his PDI on it, he yeah. opens the door and the snow falls out. He's like, "Holy crap! What the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was over the toilet. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I just filled the whole thing. That's awesome. Kind of cool. If I want. <laughs> so the toilet, um, you can swivel it for one. Yep. Wherever you want, and then you push this little button, and that adds water to the bowl. Good. And then to flush it, 
just, just like that. Okay. do that. So it's pretty simple. Um, the biggest thing with the toilet is when you go to pull the cassette out, for one, make sure nobody uses the toilet. And for two, make sure there's nothing in here because okay. that is the top of the cassette. Oh, so it'll just go out. So yeah, yeah when you pull the cassette out, everything falls okay. out. Okay, so you want to okay. flush, do a nice yeah. clean up before you pull the cassette. Cool. And then there is a little dial back here. It's green right now, and it's a float system. So when when the level gets up, it starts fading into red. Okay. okay. So cool. you can kind of see. And, I mean, it's... Visual it's only uh, eight <laughs> inches, so I mean it's not. There's some yeah, yeah, common sense. Common sense a little bit too. And then you have dry storage. Okay. And then they put in this Eco Smart okay. stuff. So this stuff is um, biodegradable. It's um, formaldehyde free, chemical free. Okay. So you can basically dig a hole and bury this out in the woods. Your whatever's in the cassette. Okay. So um, you use two ounces of this stuff. Okay. For a portable toilet is what it has in the back. So. This is good stuff. So nice. basically, you just after every time you dump this, put that you, in. You put two ounces of this okay. in, and then make sure there's enough water in the bottom of that thing to coat it. Okay. Basically, cool. Because you don't want it dry. Yeah, it just sit there and evaporate eventually. Mm -hmm. Now there's other products in there. You saw those tablet things. I wouldn't use those, okay. um, and the reason is, is those are for 40 gallons. So that's what I use those porta packs and yeah. stuff. But I have a 40-gallon black tank. Okay. A little bigger than ours. Yeah. <laughs> so you just, I would just go with the liquid. Okay. Because okay. otherwise you're wasting it. Okay. You know? okay. Um, we have bigger jugs of this okay. out there. And honestly, what a lot of people do is take the big jug and they fill this little one and just. Keep it on the road. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be good. Leave idea. the other one at home and just fill yeah. it. This will get you eight times of dumping that. That's wow. quite a bit. That's really good. Okay. You know. Now, I've read on the forums, some people say there's no issue with odor. Some people are like, oh, my God, it's awful. I mean, yeah. generally, if you keep it clean, you keep no it issue. clean, no Flush issue. Flush it and yeah. make sure because you. Because there's, I'll show you when we go out, there's a vent system in it that when you push it in, it pushes this little vent down, and it actually vents it through the wall and up on the roof. Okay, so it's got a pretty oh. clean way to yeah. get it out of there. So okay. we had some people that, one couple, that they, they had us put in this fan so that every time you opened this, it turned this little fan on. I, I saw a kit for that. Yeah, yeah. You modify the door or it something like that. It was dumb. <laughs> okay. it didn't it work. Oh, really? No. It was, I mean, that fan was so weak. Okay. That... I mean, we, we lit a match it was, and blew it out, and we opened this door and set the match right wouldn't draw the smoke. wouldn't even draw the smoke out. And we're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah. But they were in, they got to have that. Okay. It's, it's funny, because I've, no, I've noticed on, like, FedEx, the, some of the big FedEx trucks that drive around, you know, like, 24-hour critical delivery, that, that door on the outside, they have that on the side of their the sleeper cab, so they must use the cassette they style. So, yeah. yeah. It's the oh, same door, exact same. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Hmm. So some people have said that they've taken a shower and the toilet starts flushing. Like there's, did you see that? Mm -mm. Where they had to caulk around some kind of wiring. Or this oh, it's that right control here. module. Yeah, yeah, this control yeah. module. Sometimes I guess they've had some issues with that. So just, um, if just be careful. Inspect with it. that. Make sure. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some people go and just put some extra caulk. Yeah. On the, some on silicone the seal. Yeah. That's, that's all you got to do. Yeah. Good idea. Yep. So, and then this one is for your toilet paper. Okay. So. You can lift it up, put your toilet paper in there, and then when you go to close it, it actually back rolls your toilet paper. Okay. Oh. And then you open it, and it rolls it down like oh, a very, okay. very thoughtful. Kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. This thing right here, a lot of people will take this um, and take it outside and yeah. stand on it when they shower outside. So we're this thinking. Is bamboo. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So and then like this one can go up here. Okay. Um. So the this one, the only place it can go is there. Gotcha. Because. The walls are tapered. Yeah, all oh, three okay. ways. Get shallow. Yeah. Yeah, but this one will fit up top. Okay. So is that just a clothing bar then? That's not yeah. meant for the shower curtain. No. Okay. No. Cool. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people have to take that out in the shower. <laughs> yeah, I th think that's <laughs> no, gonna go. Yeah. I would. Have. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> Any questions, babe? Not. I mean, how do we turn this back on? Just touch it. Touch it yep. And yep. Just press heat. Yeah. If you, are you, you getting cold? Like, Go ahead. Yeah. I just wanted to know because I saw okay. that it was off. But yeah, it's an awesome system. That's cool. Yeah, we're thinking about that. Right on. And then you can yeah, you got one tens there and there. There's USBs and 12 volts up there. Nice. Nice. Your this just rolls down. 
Okay. And then you have your privacy screen or the blackout yep. or a screen so then you can actually see out. Nice. And everything. Cool. There's the hose for yep. washing your coil hose. So you got some nice storage in here and you can open your doors. Nice. From in here. Yep. They have like lock pivots or something where yeah, they Yeah, so it stops there. Okay. And then it goes and no risk of it hitting the vehicle at no, all? No, because it stops right there. Cool. 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 Yeah, before they'd go all the way across. Yeah. But then the magnets that come on from Mercedes aren't long enough with the bump outs. Ew. So it would hit. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Okay. Let me hop out of here and look at the water. Yeah. <sighs> all right. So the water stuff. The weird one is this switch right okay. here what that actually does is the led light that's on this side for oh. dumping. it's a dumb spot okay i got you that that guy up there yeah. okay that is weird that's the most common called in question is how do i shut the damn light <laughs> off on the driver's side and that's the only way to turn that's it off the only way to turn it that's off. weird they don't have a front well, why they didn't put it over here yeah make a real light switch yeah. like everything else that, okay well that's but, good to know yeah so that is actually the probably the most common okay. asked question <laughs> yeah and okay. then water pump. Okay. So now the water pump's on. Okay. So. Now, and I can shut it off from up there. It's not like yeah, because you can I stirred it, off it either oh, one. Okay. It's only one pump. That it's right in here. Okay. So the water system here right now it is set up for dry camping. Okay. Okay. Water from tank via pump. So that's how you're gonna dry camp. Make the valves look like that picture. Okay. Now tank's empty. I'm gonna fill it. And I have a hose that I'm going to fill it with. So I plug the hose into this city inlet. Yep. And then I turn the valves to make it look like that. Okay. And then it goes city inlet to tank. So it's going to go from here to the tank using a pressurized system. Okay. Okay. This one here you'll never use because um, that's like going to a campground. Yeah. You'd have to leave your doors open because they, they didn't makes, put a hole in Yeah, that's kind of weird, but it makes no sense. So really these are the only two that we'll ever... Oh, except the winterizing. You'll use over here, too, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, sanitize. Okay, so it, it's too sanitized, but you can also siphon to tank via pump. So we were camping, and we ran out of water. The tank's empty, right? Yeah. But you brought these jugs with. Yeah. So you can take this hose, and you sit the one end into here. I would probably cut this end off. Yeah. You can stick it into the jug. You bring it to this sanitize spot. Okay. Turn the pump on, and it will suck the water out of those jugs and put it right back into your tank. Okay, so when it's in that setting, it knows when you push the pump, it turns it into a draw mm -hmm. system to suck out of it. Yeah, because cool. if I go and shut this off, and I bring it to sanitize, I go over, over, up, down. And then now I turn the pump on, it's sucking. Yeah, it is. That's interesting. So, that's how you can pump water right in kind of cool if you had to you know just use buckets to bring yeah. it yeah see the old ones had the gravity system right inside the door yeah which well, i was cool but i actually like this one better it seems like this is less opportunity to dump water all exactly. over the place so that's and cool. you don't need a funnel you don't yeah I mean, you just they give you the hose so we want to go dry camping this is there the mode in, and that's why we'll now stay in dry camp and tonight when we're camping here that's how i'm gonna leave mm -hmm. it okay cool and then the other one is winterized. So that is to winterize, but it also siphoned to fixtures via pump. So let's say you still got those same jugs of water, but you don't necessarily want to put them in your tank. Oh, okay. You want to just shower with it. Okay. So you, you can, can just turn bypass it on that. your tank. Yeah, and... now that's your tank. Interesting. So it'll suck the water out of there and put it right to your shower. Oh. That's kind of cool. That way you can keep a full tank and just just passively mm -hmm. pull some. Okay, nice. But it, will it heat it? Will it still get no. heated? Okay. That's no. A yeah. That's a problem for her. Yeah. <laughs> but for washing the jugs are on the roof <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah. black tanks uh. <laughs> cool all right so and then these uh this for tonight when we want to yeah so that shut her down perfect cool that drop oh, down and you can zip it. Yep. So now you got your blackout. Yeah. And then. Okay, so you we can, can zip it down like this too. Yeah. And then now, you know, now you got a little bit of a view. A little bit of a view. 
And then if you want to get out, you can just tip that out. Oh, nice. And then the magnet will just grab Snags it back it. again. That's handy. I like it. Or you can, so say if she's still laying in bed, but you want to get your bike out that's underneath here or whatever. Yeah. You can oh, that's slick. roll this up, button it up here. That's just Yeah, screen. pass through, yeah. And then you can get into the garage. Yeah, oh, that's cool. So lots of options. Yeah. Just roll that all the way up. So, mm -hmm. or, or down so water yeah. can't get in. I would probably put it down, yeah. Yeah, yeah that'll help because water will just beat up on this. What a lot of people will do is they put their doors sideways like that. And then you get like a shower curtain thing that you can clip in here. And yeah. Now you can drape a curtain. Have a down. blind. Now you have your oh, yeah. changing station, whatever yeah. you want to do back here. She got some little tent hooch yeah, thing. Yeah, shower tent. Oh, there you go. So I figured we'd just put that here and. That's cool. Put it on the, the teak or whatever the, the bamboo. bamboo. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that work. Yeah, I've seen people use magnets up on the top <laughs> to magnet like a tarp. Yeah, and just oh, yeah. drape over the top. You know, I mean, there's all lots kinds of, of options. Cool. So when so, we park to to fill up, hook up to water, how does that work? You just like here. I mean, I can just stretch the hose over and then hook it right into here. So like most RV places, you, you just. Oh, you're talking like for city water to be able to use like the water at the campground? Yeah. You're basically not going to do that. What you're oh, going to really? do is just, just fill your tank. Yeah, like in the morning if we wanted to top it off before we left, mm -hmm. you'd do that. And but you just plug it into you, there. You just plug it in and which one of these do you <laughs> We just <laughs> went over power there. Fill. I didn't know if it was a siphon one or anything. No. Okay, just the power fill. Yeah. So you, you're turning pressurized water on there and using the, the, the power. power fill? Okay. Yeah, because see, power fill is There's meaning pressurized, water. pressurized yeah. water. Okay. If you're using it, sucking it out of the jugs, then you have to go to like that sanitized one. Yeah, okay. makes sense. You know. That's good. That's good. Yeah, just how, yeah, you got to figure out how you're getting the water to there. If you don't have a pump, yeah. then you're going to use that pump. Gotcha. Cool. So yeah, like how we filled it is we used the hose, went to the power fill, Build it so when it's full, it actually there's an overflow right under here, and it'll just start leaking on the ground. Oh, pretty, okay. pretty simple. So, yeah, yeah, you can't overfill it. Okay. Cool. And is there a, something that shows how much is in there? Yeah, yeah. Remember the the gauge up in front? We, you push the button, it yep. showed uh, the it's fresh full. water. Oh, Reads okay. full, and then it goes two thirds, one third empty. Okay. Yep. Okay. It's a lot to take in. Yeah. <clears throat> and then cool. This side over here. Um, there is this light switch, of course, for your garage lights. Yep. Um, USBs. Okay. That is for auxiliary solar. So yeah. If you want to put another solar yep. panel out somewhere, you can plug it into there, and that's all you got to do. Cool. That thing will automatically just take figures over. it out. Yeah. And it, it's it like up to 150 or 200 watt. Do you know? What uh, juicy. Yeah, like a 200 okay. watt. Yeah. I think 190. I think is the biggest okay. portable panel, panel that they make. Now to do that, you pretty much have to leave the door open, right? I mean, is there? A no, way? you can shut it in here. Really? The seal, the bulb seal here is a, gives it, enough clearance. Yeah, it does. Oh, we've good. tried it. Okay, cool. So it That's good work. to know. Oh, yeah, it's very um, and then basically, if you are going to buy another solar panel, yep. don't spend the money on the controller. All you need is the panel and the cord. And it's a what's that the controller? What's the it? name of that fitting? Is it like a, a zamp. okay? Just a zamp? Oh, it's just a two pronger. Like a, is it a C4 or something? I thought they had some name for that style. They do. I can't remember. I'll, I'll check. Okay, yeah. cool. And that's that. Switch for the lights. And this is another. Act. This is like the main power switch for the inverter. So okay. this is another thing. The only time you would ever shut this off is Now, does storage. that override the one that's up in yeah. there? So that, so if I shut this off, the inverter You can never get off. that one back right. on. Okay. So that's that's yeah, that. So if you can't get your inverter on. You double forgot. check. Yeah, double yeah. check this guy. Now, if you're going into deep sleep mode would you end up shutting that one off or just okay so you yeah. just totally kill the just the totally kill it. okay yeah nice cool and then down here is your gray hose okay that's just the storage spot yep for it. now is that something we want to replace with a better quality one or is that is it? on here honestly i wouldn't because like sewer hoses and stuff you want you want to have the 90, uh -huh. you know, that yeah. goes into the tank. This is just gray water. Yeah, yeah, so it's not a big so deal. So your sewer is your cassette. Yeah. So I wouldn't. And so it, that's just the storage spot? Yeah. Where do we? It actually goes over here. Okay. 
and that's where we actually dump it. So you would you would take this cap off, put that sewer hose, lock it onto the, these little pins, and pull that, and then pull that out, and then it just leaks out. Okay. Comes out. Cool. So if you're at a campground, then you would put that thing into the sewer spot. You know, um, if you're out in the woods, you basically just yeah, it's not yeah. You know, the biggest thing with these is um, it's just soapy water, but the the common misconception of RVers is that's a sewer hose. Yeah. They don't know that it's gray just water. gray water. Yeah. You know? So some of them people don't like to have, they don't like to see people just dumping mm-hmm. Yeah. Water. Yeah. yeah. They're assuming that maybe it's yeah. Not. yeah. So you kind of got to be careful. The, the Cousin Eddie yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So... Cool. Now, another rebel person is going to be like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, you they're going to get this it. This guy's going to be like, what the hell are yeah. you doing? <laughs> you know? Can't do that. So, yeah, it's it's a, okay. It's kind of one of those things. Um, this is your cord. Okay. So it's 25 foot long. You undo it like that, rotate, Perfect. and pull. Cool. So I always just put my thumb on the top. Okay. So you go to about 1130 to plug it in, rotate it to 12. Okay. And you're done. You're in business. And then put put this on. Cool. So, and then on the other end, you're going to want to get that. I'll show you those dog bones. Yeah. And you can go the from a 30 to a regular okay. 10 outlet. Cool. You guys have those here? Yeah. Right. Okay. I'll plug mm-hmm. And then the fun one. Yeah. This is what we're excited about. <laughs> so, here's your cassette. To pull it out, you just lift this and pull it out. Cool. You got wheels underneath so you can wheel it right in through tsa or wherever you want to go <laughs> okay so yeah here's the business end of this thing you, so I'm, this is actually it's your cap but then it has graduation so there's a two ounce mark okay so if you fill with that stuff up to that two ounce mark okay. you can just dump okay. it in oh and that's a done. good plan and yeah. then you can store it in here nice stuff yeah so to dump this you take the cap off push this button it allows air to come into the system and then you don't okay and you can literally dump that into a toilet and yep. Yep. i've seen people wheel these into uh rest stops and just dump it right in the toilet okay doesn't hurt anything. and there's nobody yeah i mean and cool people might look at you like yeah that. yeah yeah <laughs> but, yeah collect yeah. sewage for my hobby yeah. but yeah <laughs> so yeah okay. that's, that's okay. how you do it now if you ever want to clean it out so that's what we were looking at from the toilet yep okay and then you can do that Hose it out, get okay. it, dump it. That's a good idea. Cool. Okay. Put that back on. The biggest thing is you got to remember to put all this stuff back. And it's a normal in position. It's a normal position. Yeah. So this is your breather. Okay. So the, all of this stuff is mechanical on this. Okay. So when you slip this thing in here, there's a there's a deal back in here that slips right over the top of this that when you slide that handle to dump it, it turns that. Okay. You know, it's so you get it to right there. It just grabbed that. Yep slides it oh, locks it all in okay and then you can keep the chemical yeah a lot of people store too. their chemical in here okay. cool the other thing you can do is you could store your key fob up in here okay so now when you're hiking biking oh yeah kayaking yeah. whatever yeah. you don't have oh. to carry that 500 hundred dollar key fob with you yeah you can take the crapper key with oh, you that's or take that key and hide it somewhere else yeah, you yeah. Know, nobody's mm-hmm. ever going to figure it out are these pretty trouble free from what you've yeah. experienced i mean yeah. the, very very seems fairly experience. simple my friend has um, this same toilet system in his ice house. Oh, really? So, I mean, we can, the, the cassette's inside, so when we're fishing, yeah. you can, if you got to go number two, you, you can, got it. Oh, wow. You got it. It's That's all cool. right there. So, all right. it's pretty handy. And what's that little valve? That's, That's to that, dump the gray. Remember, you oh. pull that out once yeah, you open you that. Pull it with oh. the, 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 uh, the hose already oh, on gosh. it, you pull that. And cool. then, yeah, that's your exhaust. Yep. So if you're ever camping in like a um, tall grass, oh yeah, keep an eye trim out. Trim it. Yeah, that makes sense. You oh, know, because that's that, that gets fire. hot. Yeah, yeah, it was sure. real hot when I went out there. Yeah. Now, how do you turn those lights on and off? The running board lights? Yeah. They go. Oh, that's a. We'll get there. That's okay. a switch on the other side. Fuel. Oh. Cool. So it's locked. Nice. You know, when yeah. the door is shut, it's oh. locked. Yeah. Pretty standard stuff. Yeah. Cool. 
And uh, somebody was saying use low sulfur diesel, preferably. Yep, ultra low sulfur diesel, how, how do you, which I'm, is diesel. Okay, so most yeah. common. The only thing you want to stay away from is biodiesel. Okay, I'm not which doing that. Yeah. I don't think you guys even have no, over it's, there. It's pretty much just in the Midwest. Okay, cool. So, here are fuses. The Mercedes side okay. fuses is all in here. And it's not labeled on here, but it's actually in the book. Okay. So there's a book that's it references all fuses, were all yeah. okay. And then you have um, auto headlights, um, fog lights, and everything. Nice. Rain sensitive windshield wipers. Okay. Cool. And then on the door we have the lock and unlock windows or oh. the mirrors. I mean mirrors. Okay. The middle one actually folds them in. Nice. And then you got your windows there. Hood hood pop. Oh, your battery is actually right under here. Oh, really? The 12 volt for the chassis? The chassis battery. Really? So if you have to take these off. This all comes off, and then there's a big plate that's under here. Okay. And the batteries and. Oh. Is it just one battery or one is it battery? Okay. And it's an AGM battery, okay. so you don't. I mean, they should last a long, long time. time. How about the the lithium battery? How long are those good for? I'm Ten. Sure. Ten years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And those are fairly expensive, I'm told. Sixteen hundred bucks a pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or fifteen, something like that. Okay. Because I think the what the heck is it? I, sixteen or seventeen hundred bucks for um, to do the to add, add that, that third battery, and the most of the cost is the battery. Jeez, it only ta takes us like an hour and a half or two hours to do the labor, install. Something yeah. I can't remember what it is, but. So, being your battery is a pain to get to. That's your jump start? Yeah, push okay. and rotate. Okay. There's your positive, and then your negative is that ground right there. Perfect. Got it. Um, brake fluid? Brake fluid, power steering fluid, your windshield washer fluid. There is your um, oil filter. Okay. Right there. And then you have your oil fill. Okay. There is no dipstick. It's oh, really? All, all electronic. The, okay. Coolant. Gotcha. Def. Yeah. You know about DEF? Yeah, from okay. our commercial trucks. Okay. So, yeah, you just basically keep that full. And uh, was it about every 3,000 or I forget how many miles? Four to five is what they're okay. saying. It's a five and three-quarter gallon tank. Okay, wow. So, and Is it topped off from the factory? Yeah, or? it's okay. full right now. Okay. So yeah. that'll, that'll be something we don't have to worry about for yeah. quite a while. And there's a gauge. There's a really nice gauge in there that actually shows you exactly you. where you're at. And the idiot light comes on when you need to fill. And then... It goes into a cleaning mode or something like that? So, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. It'll regen. Okay. Um, and there's a particle filter thing that you can see in there. When that thing's in the 90 percentile, it's when the it regens. Yeah. Okay. And that's what I was told. Just get on a freeway and drive. Just drive. At highway speed for a while. Yep. And it, cool. what happens is the engine gets hot, really hot. Yeah. And then it burns it off. Pushes. Okay. So. Nice. Well, there's not an older one that somehow got locked out. It was like an 11. Oh, really? Um, a view. And we actually had to bring a mechanic here, and he put it into manual on his computer. To just blow. The engine got 1,200 degrees is how hot it has to yeah. get. Jeez. That's I'm like, holy crap. He had the thing just high idle back there in the back lot. I'm like, oh, my God. That seems a bit much. And then we had to go drive it for an hour. <laughs> yeah, to after self, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, good Lord. So <laughs> if you're doing it on your, um, just your lithium or, you know, just off of your batteries. It's, yeah. It. It's easier on it. Okay. Because, like, when that one fires up, it just, bam, you know, and yeah. it takes a lot of juice right yeah. away to fire that thing up. And yours just kind of gently. And that was, fires my up. thought was getting one of those Sherpa racks and uh, one of those, what, Honda 2200 mm -hmm. generators. Because I figured rather than get another battery or something, I was thinking it'd be better to just have the, the ability to just keep going for right. as long as I have fuel. Yep. So. And that's the beauty of these is that, you know, or with that even. Um, the 2200 will do just fine. Perfect. Where before you had to have the companion, you had to have two of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Run them in Unless parallel? you put the ample start in like okay. you did. Okay, cool. Or the soft, soft start. start. Nice. Um, over here, your fridge, for one, they changed that so you can open it all the way up. That's awesome. Um, and then there's the dial for it is in here. I'll turn it down to five. Five is about where you need to be. Okay. For the right temperature. If okay. you go up to seven, it'll freeze everything. everything. Okay. okay. So, but it's neat because you can just grab a beer and stay outside. You don't actually have to That's go awesome. inside. It's actually bigger than I was picturing it. Today. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it's bigger than last year. That's cool. So, this light does that one up there. Okay. This one is actually your running boards. 
underneath. Okay, so that's what you saw earlier. Yeah, okay. and those, yeah, and the little ones on the ends. Now the amber light and the red. Those li- are tied in with your headlights. Okay. Okay. Yep. So when you turn the headlights on, those will those yeah. Will, so or, you get an amber on the front and then a red on the back. Are they just like running lights? Yeah. When, okay. Cool. Which switch again? Ah, uh, this one. Okay. And then the awning light. Awning is, light is right there. Okay. And then the awning, you get it out, you just press out. Okay. And it'll just go. Anytime you want to stop this thing, you either press in or out, and it'll stop. So okay. if it's fairly windy, but yet you want to have it out a little bit, yeah, you can. You have can do it that. Out. Now I've heard. Some folks say that they're not real impressed with the quality of these things. Is there anything you can do, or is there any? I think there, we don't have much issues okay. with them. Um, the biggest thing that other do, see when we get them in from Winnebago, a lot of times they're crooked, okay. or they'll clip the door when they come out. Really? So you yeah. guys do a... so we adjust them okay. to get them straight for one. Wow! And then to make sure that it clears the door when the door is open. That's and it's got a wind sensor of some kind. Yeah, there's a, this little box. That's on this side right here is actually the wind sensor. Okay. So if you ever go bringing it out and it stops and then it'll keep going and yeah. then it stops, it means the batteries it's... are dead. Oh, okay. I do remember hearing something about that. So yeah. all you have to do is take those two little Phillips screws out and there's two A's uh, or double A's in okay. there. That's all it is. Cool. But when you're doing it, be careful because when you shake that thing, she wants to go back. Goes. Oh. Like, yeah. Now, could you shut off the inverter at that point? To, no. There's nothing. How about the main power on that? You just, no. Well, I mean, do it, oh, really? This thing will self-retract regardless yeah. of the power of the vent? Wow. Yeah. That's weird. So somehow it's tied in with the chassis okay. battery. Because when you go and turn this, if the ignition switch is on, yeah. the awning goes in. Well, that's smart. That's oh, obviously okay. to prevent yeah, people from, yeah. Yeah. Drive away, yeah. 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 yeah that's, Which has happened. Yeah. It seems, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, right here. This one makes it go forward and backwards. And this forward. Because otherwise, what will happen, the back will hit here. Oh, okay. So you, and then you can just swivel it right around. And okay. then it locks. Cool. So they only lock all the way forward or all the way back. Cool. So like this one, if you wanted to have it, you gotta, I guess, but you could have it sitting at an angle if you wanted to, you know, like that. Yeah. Cool. So, and then it just sits there loose. Okay. just doesn't lock again. Yep. And then what are those for? Um... Two of them. So this one is your cold water low point drain. This is your hot water low point drain. Okay. This one is the actual tank. So fresh tank drain. These say water drain. So low points, tank. And this is for winterization? Winterization or let's just say um, you got like summertime. It's hot. Yeah. um, And you got like a week that you're not going to use it. What I would do is shut the pump off, open this up, the faucet. And then crack all three of these. You're just going to drain the water out. Water gets skunky when it sits there for yeah, a little okay. bit. Yeah. So, or you're done with your trip. You, you know, on Sunday you come home. You're yeah. not going to go out till Friday again. I would definitely drop this one. Okay. Whatever just, water you got left, just dump it. Okay. Because it's, you know, if it's 100 degrees out, which it's, it gets in Tennessee. Yeah, it'll get. It's yeah. going to get nasty. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. where's it actually draining at? Right, like right here. Right below. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. So that is your fresh tank, and then these two. Are just the low points yep, in the lines. Are low points in the lines. Cool. So your pump must be off. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, it just pump it. And you want the pump off, or do you want the pump no, off? Leave it off to drain. To drain. Okay. Yeah, and then you just crack it open, and then if when you crack this open, yeah, these will really go now. Yeah. Cool. So now it'll drain all most of the water that's just sitting in the lines. Just clears it out. Yep. Cool. Nice. And then I would just leave it. Like when you that. leave it empty, um, you put, I've heard guys putting like you know like, like alcohol or something in there to you know clean. You can put like bleach in there okay. to clean your lines out, and that would be using that sanitized okay. mode. Okay. Okay. You know, is that like an annual thing? If you even I do mine actually in the spring. Okay. After I because like mine right now on Sunday I winterize mine. Okay. Because um, it's gonna get cold. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so now I'll just leave it that way, and then in the spring I'll flush a bunch of water through it. Okay. And then I go and put um, bleach water in okay. the lines. Yep. Pressurize it. And I let it sit there for like six, eight hours. Yeah. And then I just run water through it. Okay. Just to clean it. it. Yeah. Yep. Cool. What's the water sound? Is that from oh, it's just going into our drain. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a drain under there. It's impressive. There's a lot going on. So the the ladder is locked. It's got its own little lock system. Yep. 
And then you can take it off from there and then move it around to the other side. And I'm told you're not supposed to climb up this while it's in this position. You shouldn't. Yeah. We, I've seen we'll people do, do it, time, but yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. What you else? Got your table out oh, here. yeah. Nice. You can fold down and you can move this, you know, if your van's sitting crooked. You can yeah. move it around to Get wherever it. you want. Perfect. Level it now. That's awesome. And then it naturally wants to go this way. I always pull this off to the side so it sits flat. Otherwise, it's going to sit with that thing behind yeah, it. Yeah, that's not good. So, and then this you can just tuck, tuck yeah. between. Cool. And then like on Facebook, on the, the drawers, you pull that bottom drawer out and people say you can see all this daylight here. Okay, so, so that's not it's an it's a non issue. Okay. What they're what they're doing is they're looking at it with their door open. And they're seeing daylight and freaking yeah. out. Well if you if I was, you're worried about mice, you, the mice got a, a stinking <laughs> highway to come in if they really want. To. So there when the door is shut and you open that, you can't see anything okay. whatsoever. Okay. So this is what they're looking at is all under yeah. here. Okay. But I mean, yeah, you can fix that if you want to. I do, there's no point. If your door is open, you've yeah. you got way more opportunity. When you shut your door. Yeah, she's tight. It's yeah, tight. Okay. Cool. So. Nice. Yeah, I, I just laughed when I saw that because I'm like, where the hell is That group gets looking? a little out of control it sometimes. Does, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of great stuff on there, but no, there's, but there's a lot some, of dumb stuff. There's too. a lot of rants and <laughs> yeah. a lot of stuff that, you know, yeah. cool and i've heard of guys getting them in like both solar panels not being plugged in you guys check for all that we you guys all that. yeah yeah we make sure that everything's plugged in and, and working what's like i mean most common we asked about like people getting confused what's the most common like defect or something that the factory missed is there do you guys see much like oh they the did that is honestly the biggest thing really yeah just the alignment and how it's yep. fitted in there and how it's fitted they just kind of put them in yeah and they don't I mean, they don't have a lot of space sure. to be able to run them out, and yeah. they do. So, any issues with electrical or anything no, else? Not really? really. And you guys check to make sure the fridge is working and everything is. Mm hmm. Because it's cold. Now. Yeah. We run so on a on the vans like this, we take about three and a half to four hours. Yeah. On each one, and we run through every single system. Okay. We check every single outlet, every USB. We've had USBs not plugged in. Yeah. Just simply the, the just, plug yeah. not plugged in. Yeah. You know, it's all there. It's just when somebody else was doing something, they might have bumped the yeah. plug and unhooked it. So. Cool. So yeah, we check all that kind of stuff. Now, for us, we're, we're in Chattanooga. The nearest Winnebago dealer is in, I think, Knoxville. Mm -hmm. Sweet. If we have a warranty issue.